Kenny. That's hello in Estonian. And welcome. Once upon a time. To the 47th the Eurovision land, Song Contest far, from Tallinn. Far away. Capital of Estonia. A small, yeah, proud, yeah, Baltic yeah. state. Independent of Mother Russia since 1991. And they shrugged off the USSR, pulled down Lenin's statue, and decided to go it alone. Some may scoff and even snigger at the old Euro song, but winning it last year was regarded as a major breakthrough by the Estonians. An opportunity to show themselves off, make their mark in Europe. 7,000 people here tonight in the Saku Surhala. Hundreds of millions around the world watching from Reykjavik. Sydney. The old Hanseatic town, 13th century. Tallinn. The Sudala. This is the song that brought us here, last year's winner. Dave Benton. Tano Pada. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody, let's sing along and feel the power of the sun. Come on, everybody, let's feel the spot that always rests within our hearts. Come on, everybody, and let it up. Leave the moment here and now. Come on, everybody, let's hear the chance to be so glad to love and die. Come on, everybody, let's sing along. And now we meet the host and hostess. I'll be joining us on stage, Annalie Peebo and Marco Marchfeli. Please welcome tonight's hosts, Annelie Pebble and Marco Matvere. She's an operatic mezzo-soprano. He's an actor Thank who you, plays the accordion. Thank you, Daniel. Trust me. Hello, Hello Europe. Europe. Hello, Annelie and Marco. Bonsoir, chers téléspectateurs. Bienvenue à Tallinn, capitale de l'Estonie. Tere, ohtust. <laughs> I know, I know, this will be the most unnecessary sentence of the evening, but <laughs> I have to say it. I can say it for you. Please, please do. The 47th Eurovision Song Contest is about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> and as you all know, it's not just a song contest, it's the biggest entertainment event of the year in Europe. The one and only. Precisely. And Europe itself is the only continent that starts with E, because all the others start with A. And in Europe there are not many countries that start with E. Estonia is one of them. So, this is the perfect place to hold the big E, the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> This does not mean they're giving a big E to the Eurovision Song Contest. Calm yourself. But, but the party is not only here tonight. People are watching us in pubs, clubs, and even on the streets. For example, here in the town hall square in Tallinn. Tere Tallinn, que si están abuida. There's some crowd there. Well tanked. Let's ask them the same question in London. Hello, London. Who's going to win this year? Some crowd there as well. The BBC Choice Party. Right, hosted by Jamie right, Eclair. Oh. James Holmes. Right, great. Right. What's the feeling in Germany? Hallo, Hamburg. Wer wird heute gewinnen? And what about in Spain? Hello, Granada, Andalusia. Quien va a ganar? You don't think these crowds are computer enhanced, do you? Well, 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 well. It seems, it seems we already know who the winners are. Hang on, hang on. We haven't heard the songs yet. Mm. And before we do, we'd like to say a big thank you to last year's host, Denmark. It was like a real fairy tale when everybody won. And not just because everybody starts with E again. Estonian history is like a fairy tale too, with a happy ending. Just like tonight's show. And between the 24 songs, you will see short video postcards inspired by a well-known fairy tale. So, let's begin. Bonne chance à tous les participants. The first country is Cyprus. Yes, a fairy tale. 